Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in Milwaukee at the World of Wheels. And with that, I met Todd. Todd, what's your last name? Bloom. Todd nice to Bloom. You. And Todd, uh, he originally came up to me and he said that uh, he'd like to model on the car. He said he looks just like who? Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Yeah, They're yeah, like twin no, sisters yeah. here. I mean, you can see the resemblance obviously quickly. So seeing that that maybe isn't totally the case, his car is definitely worth modeling. What kind of car did you bring today? Uh, 1969 Chevrolet Pro Street Camaro. And tell them what Pro Street means. Pro Street is a car that where we've taken modified the frame, we've shrunk it up in the back, so a bigger tire underneath it. Modified drivetrain, bigger engine, supercharger, fun stuff like that. And this car actually does these. Little ones. Little ones. Sure. <laughs> Let's take a look at our wheelie machine. So here we have the simulated drag strip with the lights here, the Christmas tree as it's called. And here is our 69 Camaro. I mean, just, I mean, first of all, you obviously can see engine when you're sitting in it. Yes. And uh, uh, really well done. It looks more like a show car than a drag car because, I mean, it's really, really clean. Where'd you get the headlights from? Uh, those ordered online from the uh, Camaro Supply Shop. Okay. And then the hood, the paint job is really clean. You know what's one of the things I really like about this car too is sometimes when they're pro street, they got so many stickers on them. And yours has a very clean, almost subdued look. But of course, as you're sitting here, there's nothing subdued about, well, wheelie bars sticking out the back end of your car. What is the, uh, you drive this on the street. Yes. What yep. is the reaction when you're driving this? You know, I get a lot of positive reactions from everybody, uh, especially our local law enforcement. They appreciate the car very much. <laughs> do, 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 they, do they appreciate it where the lights are on, or do they appreciate it just, they give you the thumbs up? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. All right, so um, is the car a Z28 or built out to look like one? No, just built out to look like one. And it, and it looks really good. We've got the C-stripe, obviously, off the front, all the correct mirrors. I mean, uh, when you're building a car like this, and I just want to give you a, a comprehension. That's my entire hand in the wheel well. When you're building a car like this, I just want to show people that are these tires legal or not legal? They are a street legal tire. They do have tread on them. Well, they're little treads, but they are there. I don't, there's the little tread that we see. So when you're building a car like this, obviously there's, there's learning experiences the entire time. How long have you had this car? 13 years. How long has the learning um, to making this car the way you want it taken? 13 years. <laughs> Still trying. So, so it's, it's always an improvement. What always does something like this do in a quarter mile? Um, on a good day, it's a solid 10 second car. A solid 10 second. How fast are you going, 140? 140, 148. 140, okay. That's pretty fast at that time frame. And it pulls the wheels off the ground. Let's, while we're back here, mm -hmm. here's your wheelie bars. I have not been in a car that pulls wheelies yet. Maybe we need to do that at some time. We will start this one. So we've got our on-off switch. Let's take a look in the trunk. Because here's our fuel cell, our battery. What's a cool little Chevy bow tie. And then, our nitrous oxide bottles. And those are some big bottles. Uh, yeah, 10 pounds a piece. That's almost bigger than your fuel cell. Yes. Wow. All right, so did it start with one baby bottle and then all of a sudden it grew into two? Or? No, we've always had the two because of the nitrous setup on the motor. Okay. It's got a 16 import injector in it, so we've always had the two. We've always had the two. All right, let's take a look at the interior. We've seen the back. Go ahead. We can shut that. I'll come back there to listen to that exhaust. I love this. I know, I know. License and registration, please. <laughs> okay. Todd, are you always this serious? I mean, uh... <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't you can't play around your whole life. You gotta be. <laughs> you gotta be serious. You gotta be serious at some point. So, Recaro seats. What do you have here? They look really nice. No, these are actually this manufacturer is out of business now. Unfortunately, okay. yeah. FX. They're a great seat. Have been there since I've had the car, um, and I guess I can't replace them anymore. So when I wear them out, I'll. You have to find something else. Yeah. So tell me what's going on here. I see uh, uh, this big 
unit here. I'm, I'm gonna. Is there? Is this like starting a NASA ship or something? Is there a way to start this car? It's not like a normal car. Yeah, you have to bring the fuel system online first. We bring on the water pump, then we start it up. Um, fans are there if it gets a little bit hot, and then the nitrous system. The two buttons on the bottom are for each individual bottle. The two, these two buttons. No, up a little bit farther. Okay. You say O and C by them. Open and close. And then the nitrous actual activation switch is right above those. Okay, so these two are your nitrous buttons. Yep, they control the bottles. Oh my gosh, how long did it take you to just figure out how to get this thing to do that? Um, well, I tell you, wiring on it took almost a year by itself on and off. Just getting that all figured out. Do you ever look at these gauges over here when you're in this thing? Uh, if something goes wrong, I do. Okay. Does that? How often does that happen? Because uh, when something like this, it's. I mean, what is this readout here? Uh, I'm monitoring the air fuel mixture after the supercharger to make sure I don't lean the motor out too much. All right. What is this? Is this a CB to figure out where the police are at, or what? What's <laughs> happening? That's just my power port for my uh, cell phone charger when I'm out driving around. That's <laughs> <laughs> where I plug my, my cell phone charger. Cell phone charger. In. Right. I like that you've got the Qs in here, like the Camaro. Yep. And you've got the Z28. And what is this? These are for when I'm racing. I keep them disconnected on the street. One is for my nitrous purge. The other is for a line lock. A line lock. So you lock the front wheels and warm up the tires. Yep. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. If I'm looking here, I've got this in my face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does that grate on the back of this hood scoop actually function as air coming through? Yes. Is it it's helpful for that? It's fully functional. Okay, fully functional. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, tell me what's going on here. That, it does have a gear vendor's overdrive unit in so, it. So do I pull up here to do what? Uh, get it out of uh, park and out of reverse. Okay, so I pull it up just to move it. And what is this? That is for uh, manually activating the overdrive. Manually activating the overdrive. Okay, and green and red? Yep, green is when it's in overdrive. Red is, red is when it is not in overdrive. Got it. All right, how do you usually drive this? When I'm cruising around up on the freeway, I keep it in overdrive. overdrive. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, all right. Wow, okay, so there's a lot going on here. Let me do this. Let me just show, I mean, it's pretty normal hood, um, headliner, and then we've got massive uh, frame, frame building. And how much extra frame, I'm going to see if I can show that. Sure. How much of that is extra heavy duty? All of it. All of it. Yep. Okay, so all of that under there, and you've got... Cutouts on here too, you said. So Correct. Okay, so let's open the engine compartment. Okay. That's really nice. They did a great job on your hood. Yeah, I like fact we kept it metal, we didn't go fiberglass. It really looks good. Now what is this running here? A, a 427 you said? 427 Chevrolet Big Block, yep. And these straps here to make sure it doesn't blow off the top. Yeah, and we're at the track in case it gets backfired. They don't want this going out into the crowd, so that keeps it on top of the motor. <laughs> we don't want our motor going into the crowd as a general rule. Correct. You know, I see the same thing driving out here. Keep my motor inside the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. There's a lot going on over there. I, I, I'm being sincere for a moment. This is very, this is very well done. Thank you. Very well done. I mean, man, oh man, we haven't even started it yet. Okay, I'm gonna just look over your shoulder on the other side. You jump in, and I want to see what you do to start this. Okay. So I'm gonna be over here, and you kind of take me through the stages of starting right. this. Yep. First, I squeeze in here. But oh, you're just like Megan Fox, so it's no problem. I know exactly. First, bring fuel online. Fuel first. And I Water just pump something. Yep. Okay. Wait for the gauges to cycle. I'm seeing red light down at the bottom. Yep.
up, turn the exhaust on and off, and then give it a rev in both. Okay, now it's on. It is comfortably, surprisingly more calm than I was expecting when the exhaust is fully on. Mm -hmm. And when it's off, oh my gosh, it sounds like it's just going to just be like a freight train in full motion. Holy cow. And that's what I like on the street when you turn the exhaust on because if you're going on a long cruise, you're going to be driving 45 minutes or an hour somewhere. You won't be able to hear. Right. So you pump it in, it's three inch exhaust all the way out the back yeah. and inside the car. It's, it is pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Do you still Pretty need quiet. to have like air, air, little earbuds no. in or something? No, 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 no. Right. no. Todd, what a fun car. Thanks. And uh, really enjoy it. Thanks for giving us all the details and educating not only myself but all the viewers. If you like what you see, subscribe, hit the bell for uh, more cars like this. Thanks for being on My Car Store. Thanks for having us.